Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Hey, all right, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jell, and here we are, episode 986. Someone sent me in a note and said, well, what are you going to do for 1,000? And, you know, I, this is a tough one for me because while it is a magic number, 1,000, and it's probably going to cause the thing to sort wrong in iTunes and all kinds of Y2K disaster things, it's not really the 1,000th podcast because I started at episode 101. So it's only the 900th podcast. It doesn't seem like, uh, I don't know, if, if you have any ideas what you think we should do for for number 1,000, which really isn't 1,000, it's just a number, drop me a note, bill at mrexcel.com. I want to talk about uh, when you're tracking deadlines. Uh, so you have some event that's due in the future. In this case, I'm going to say 4 15, 2009 Of course, I'm recording this a few days in advance. So when I use the equal now function, now is a function that I know a lot of us probably use. Now is pretty cool because it actually comes in and says, hey, it's April 2nd at 9.56 a.m. in the morning. When you use now, of course, the time shows up, and that may not be what you want to do. So you can get rid of that by using format cells. I press Control-1. and uh, basically, we'll get rid of the hour portion, so now that's good. But then when we calculate days away, so days away is C3 minus B3, it's going to keep coming up with strange answers like 12.58. And this afternoon, while this would round to 13, it's going to change to 12. So it's really kind of arbitrary that after you know you come back from lunch, that the days away is going to be down one. So my solution here, rather than just format this or use round or round up or something like that, Rather than use the now function, I want you to consider using a different function. This function is called today. Today is very similar to now, except it leaves off the time portion. So I choose equal today. You see that we don't actually have any decimals. If I press F2, F9, it just rounds it off to today at midnight or you know 12.01 as the day started. And so then the number of days away will work. We're 13 days away from the 15th, and it won't change until 12 days away until we get in tomorrow, and today recalculates as April 3rd. Well, there you have it. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Well, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.